Hey everybody, Mike here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how we taper the garage door openings on, on a new garage floor. This is the part of the concrete floor that sits outside the garage doors. And we don't like to leave them just flat. We kind of taper them away from the door a little bit. And I'm going to show you how we do that. Uh, this skill is, isn't easy to learn, but once you do learn it, it's, uh, it makes your garage floors just that much better. So as you can see, we're sloping that part right there from the inside of the concrete wall to the, to the very outside. And that's the part of the concrete floor that sits right outside the door when the garage door closes. So when the rain, you know, when it rains, it hits the outside of the door, it runs down the door. You don't want that water running underneath the door and inside the garage. You just want it to run out. So if you don't taper this part, if you don't slope it out, then the water is just going to run under the door. So as you can see, Darren, the first thing we do is we dig out about a half an inch of concrete. We set our form board right even, right flat with the top of the concrete floor. So when we dig this concrete out, you know, we can, we can just eye it down about a half inch. And then as you can see, he's running his mag right back and forth to make sure that's nice and flat across there because you don't want it to look wavy. So he'll get that, that dug down a half inch and he'll get it looking nice and smooth right there. And then he'll start cutting in the slope by just digging out some more concrete. Sometimes we'll go half inch, sometimes we'll go three quarters of an inch. You know, it all depends on the height of the, the subgrade outside. So now he's, he's digging out the excess and putting the slope into it. And then he smooths that part out because when, when you dig a little bit out, you know, you open up some rock holes and stuff like that because you're removing, you're removing some of the concrete paste and you're removing some of the three quarter inch rock that's in there. So from right there inside that concrete wall to the outside is the part with sloping. So he'll get that all smooth. He'll run his mag, you know, back and forth both ways to make sure it's not wavy. And then he'll remove some more. Darren's pretty fussy too. He's really good at this. So he's a good one to learn from. So he's just scraping out that excess concrete. Putting that little bit of slope into it. And that's only about, you know, that concrete wall is 8 inches wide. So this, this tapered part's only going to be about 8 inches. And when the garage door closes, it sits just inside, you know, it sits just inside that, the inside of that concrete wall. So there's about seven inches of concrete that sits outside the garage door. So we'll taper it back about eight inches and then no water can get under the door. You can see he does a section at a time. Make sure it's sloped just perfect. If you don't, you know, if you don't run your mag back and forth both ways, it can look a little wavy after you're all done, and that just doesn't look good. So you can see he's running it, he's running his mag that way, filling in all the rock holes, making sure there's no little dips or humps in the pot he just cut down. And then he'll turn his mag like that and run it that way and smooth everything out. And he runs it back the other way and checks it again. And that gives you a really nice looking taper there when you're all done. Then remove the excess concrete and finish off that last part. So there's two more doors on this garage. So, I mean, I'm going to show you how we cut those two down too. Luke's going to cut one. Everybody does them a tiny bit different, but Luke and Darren do them just about exactly the same. You know, this is how we do it. I'm sure there's other ways of tapering garage doors that other people do too. But we've had real good luck with doing it this way. It's it's pretty fast. I mean, it takes a few minutes per door once you're good at it. And it, it always looks really nice. When these guys are done, those slopes and, and the tapers are perfect. When the concrete's all power trialed and finished, the, the line from the inside of the wall to the other inside of the wall looks nice and straight. 
It just looks real professional the way these guys do it. So Darren's got the taper all cut in. Now he's magging that straight line across. And he'll do that every time he runs the power trial. He'll do that same thing to make sure that stays nice and straight. It's pretty easy to get that line wavy. You know, if you keep running the power trial over it. But Darren's got it down. He's got it down to a science. So he's establishing his straight line right all the way across that garage door. So if you ever wondered, you know, how those slopes or tapers are put in there, this is exactly how it's done. And if no one's ever taught you before, if no one's ever showed you, then, you know, learning from Darren right here and then learning from Luke here in a minute are two really good experienced guys to learn from. There, he's going to finish up that door and then they're going to go do the other two here. So stay tuned. Take a look at how, how Luke's doing it. Now Luke's going to cut it down. So he's digging that down again. It's the same, same garage, just doing the middle door. He's digging out that excess. Getting rid of it. You can see Darren was magging in front of one of the other little doors. Still a little bit of bleed water on the floor. You know, this is probably about 30 minutes or so after we got done pouring the concrete. So we don't do it immediately after because the concrete's still a little too loose and it won't hold the taper, won't hold the slope very good. We let the concrete set up a little bit. You can see Darren just checked it with his fingers before we cut this taper into it. So this is probably about a half hour after we got done pouring it. It's sunny out, as you can see. It's about 65 70 degrees out there today it's probably like 8 30 in the morning now luke's cutting in cutting in the taper and he's going to cut that down then he'll smooth it out you can see he's removing all the rocks there darren's cutting his down about a half inch if you wait, you know, if you wait too long and the concrete gets hard, this isn't fun to do. If you do it too early, then your slope, your, your taper just doesn't look as nice. It kind of sags a little bit. So there's a little bit of a window in here when it's a good time to do this. It just takes a little bit of practice about learning when that window is. And you can see Luke's smoothing his all out, filling in all the rock holes. They're both using mags from from Marshalltown, guys. If you know, if you guys want a good mag, I got a link for those down in the description. You can you can pick out a mag from Marshalltown. Marshalltown's going to give you guys if you use the the discount code EAC, they're going to give you 10% off and give you free shipping on that. So, they got really good mags, they got really good trials, edgers. We use all their tools. Now Luke's going to mag that across and establish his straight line as soon as he gets done magging that taper in. And then Darren will finish up cutting his out. You can see they're not hurrying. You know, they're doing this in plenty of time. they got plenty of time to get on before they need to get on the floor with the power trial. Just when you, you know, when you finish concrete, you just got to stay ahead of it. There, now he's magging in his straight line. Making sure his slope is looking perfect. Getting these garage doors right is about, you know, half the work of making these garages look really good when you when you're a good concrete finisher. You can you can power trial it, and make it look nice, but if your garage door cut downs don't look good then the first impression from the homeowner is going to be like oh that doesn't look very good so you see how Luke did his it was very similar to how Darren does it they've both been doing it the same for years and Darren's going to finish cutting in his taper there 
and then that part of the job will be done. So when they go to put the power trowel on it, they'll they'll float the concrete and then they'll remag remag the taper. Every time they hit it with a power trowel, they hit it with a, a mag the first time and then they'll hit it with a steel trowel the second time and then right after they steel trowel it they'll just put a light broom finish on it and they'll they'll run an edger up against the board to give it that rounded edge I've shown you guys how to do do an edger on some of my other videos but that's how we finish these we'll edge against the board we'll cut these tapers into them that's how you cut down a garage door guys